بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الله أكبر Oh hi I didn't see you there You know while out here in the mountains of Israel performing my winter arc I started to you know devour the internet on my downtime and I came across certain things that are happening with the content creator Wes Watson and as many of you may or may not know, I've spoken about Wes Watson in the past, and I've said that Wes Watson is on the decline. I placed a curse on Wes Watson, and Wes Watson's world is going to come. It, you know, this happens all the time, by the way. When these content creators get on my bad side, I place a very heavy and very dark curse on these people. And right away, within a month or two, you start to see these people's lives start to fall apart. Their entire career down the drain. It happened with Sketch. Let's not forget Sketch. Six months before Sketch was exposed for doing some disgusting acts with black guys, I was doing the exposing. Of course, everybody came for my neck, called me a scumbag and a loser. How dare I? But then six months later, nobody watches Sketch anymore. Then I went on to Moist Critical. Look at Moist Critical now. Sad, depressed. You don't see any more viral clips when it comes to Moist Critical. The guy was destroyed. You know, he was he was he was advocating for kids to, to chop off their wieners. Oh, well, I was banned. I placed the curse. Remember, let's not forget my beef with Asmongold. I placed the curse on Asmongold. Look at him now. Kick off the platform and now Muslims. You know how you know how these Muslims are. We all know how these Muslims are. Wait till these Muslims get a hold of you, Asmongold. With your gingivitis, with your bedbug infested apartment. Wait till these angry Muslims get a hold of you for what you said about Palestine and all these Arabic people. Just wait. You know, I'm not a Muslim, God forbid. You know, I'm a, I'm a full-blooded American Christian boy. But one thing we know about these Muslims is when they come, they come for blood. <laughs> so but you better be careful, Asmongold. Watch your step. Because the problem is, you know, when I release these curses on people, I hold no response. I don't know what's going to happen. I just release them out into the universe. The curse is upon you, my son. And whatever happens, happens. You might get hit by a truck. You might catch HIV AIDS. Or you might even get caught by these angry Muslims. We don't know what's going to happen. Just know that your time is coming, pal. The curse is irreversible at this point. It's out there. It's out there in the universe. But I digress. Another guy that I had a long standing beef with is Wes Watson. I cannot stand Wes Watson. I don't like Wes Watson. And I placed a curse on Wes Watson. And now we're starting to see his life start to unravel. We found out that Wes Watson, who, by the way, is married to a single mom, you know, because Wes Watson, as, as I've exposed before, Wes Watson is not able to impregnate a woman. You know, Wes Watson, he has nuts. He has nuts for no reason. I mean, just imagine you have nuts, a nut or a weakness in a man's body. So just imagine you have a pair of nuts and you can't even impregnate anybody. What's the point? Cut them off. Cut them off. Put, you know, do like how they do to those dogs. They put a rubber band around their tail and when they're a puppy. And just leave the rubber band for two to three weeks until the, uh, until the tail just finally just, just comes. It falls off. Do that to your nutsack, Wes Watson, because you got them for no reason. Your nuts are there for no reason. You can't impregnate anybody. You're shooting blanks. And so we're constantly seeing Wes Watson involve himself with these women that are single moms, tattooed all up and down, probably have a history of drug addiction. And it's all because of the kids. So that's another thing. We have to be careful, Wes Watson. Why is he so obsessed with these children? No, because you have to ask yourself the question. Why is a guy who drives around a Bugatti? A guy who makes so much money as Wes Watson claims to be making. Why does he constantly involve himself with these clapped out bimbos with lip filler and Botox? And they got a bunch of little Mexican buggers running around. Bunch of kids that aren't even his. What's it all about? And let's not forget the whole Fresh and Fit fiasco. Where Wes Watson got into an argument with another alpha male. And Wes Watson lied about having children. Knowing damn well that the internet knows those aren't his kids. But folks, wait, it gets even worse. Because you see, we found out through the grapevine that Wes Watson's girlfriend is apparently an escort. And at this point, you know, it's just getting sad. Wes, you're a liar. You claim to be a boss that can get all the hoes. You get bad bitches. That's what you said. Well, turns out you go to listcrawler.com to rent out a girlfriend. Oh, and let's not forget the time you claim to be a shot caller in prison. 
And then the guy in the interview said, well, what's a shot caller, Wes Watson? And you go, well, a shot caller is basically if there's 50 white guys in the prison system, they all have to answer to me. Turns out that was also a lie. Yeah, because of real white boys that were really in prison in the California prison system, they were talking about, we never heard of this guy. We've never seen this guy. Matter of fact, this guy was in county jail. You were in county jail, Wes Watson. There's no gang banging in county jail. He said he was in the shoe like the movie Shock Collar. He was like in a cage, like a caged animal, doing push-ups and sit-ups all day. Turns out that was a lie. So, Wes Watson, which one is it? Are you just lying about your entire life? What's real? What's fake at this point? Are you even real? Are you just a figment of our imagination? What's going on with Wes Watson? Because we want to know. And by the way, where's all this money coming from? Is there really that many guys out there that can be convinced to... Because anybody who pays Wes Watson any money is a guy that can and will be convinced to give another guy or sex. These are just the facts. If you're a guy that pays Wes Watson... I said this before, and I'll say it again. If you're a guy that pays Wes Watson $5,000 so he can be your dad and scream at you, you're the type of guy that a guy like me would convince to do all sorts of obscenities. I can control people very easily. I can get, I can spot a weak guy and I can convince him, hey, why don't you come over to my apartment? We're going to talk about certain things. And then I put my hand on your lap and I start massaging your thighs. Of course, you can't say no to me because you're the type of guy that pays Wes Watson $5,000. Next thing we know, it smells like butt in the apartment. There I am zipping my pants out of wet buddy. You got to go. I got things to do. And you walk all the way home thinking what just happened. What the hell did I just do? Why didn't I just say no? You couldn't. You're not the type of guy. You know, you've been programmed to be submissive. You know, dogs do it in the animal kingdom. This happens all the time. If you're a guy like this, you know, you need to pay me $5,000 to deprogram you. Otherwise, you're going to fall into the traps of guys like Wes Watson. Pay me $5,000. This is stuff like this will never happen to a guy like you. But, you know, with this guy, Wes Watson, we don't know what's real and what's fake anymore. One thing that we do know is that the girlfriend is, in fact, fake. It's not a real girlfriend. You know, Wes Watson pays for something called the girlfriend experience. Not a real girlfriend. He pays for it. Another thing that we do know is the entire history, the entire story was all made up as well. It's all fake. It was all fabricated. The children that he supposedly has, all these kids that he has running around, that's also fake as well. They're not even his. He can't get any woman pregnant. And so you have to start to wonder, well, you know, all of this happened after I placed the curse on him. What happens when the curse actually starts to marinate and really sinks its teeth into Wes Watson's soul? Because that's how the curses works with me. You know, I unleash the curse and it gets more and more and more powerful and until the guy is like, is literally just nothing. Just a shell of himself. So we're going to start to see a lot of shocking information being exposed about Wes Watson. There's going to be a lot of mysteries. There's a lot of questions that people have about this guy, Wes Watson, that are going to be exposed. We're going to get all the answers. Don't worry. You don't need to worry about a thing. All the answers you've been looking for when it comes to Wes Watson, they will be brought to the light. I'll make sure of it myself. Somehow people got a hold of his address. Even his address has been exposed. And they're sending him leaf blowers and electric leaf blowers. It's a disaster at this point. Wes Watson's going to have to move. Guy can't even have peace in his own home. But again, this is the curse. Even in the comfort of your $20 million mansion, you can no longer have peace. You can pay extra money for security guards, pay extra money to live in a gated community. It doesn't, the, the curse just goes over the fence like if it's nothing, nobody even knows it's there. You can run, you can hide, but the curse is on your ass like a hemorrhoid. And so Wes, if you want to have peace again, I suggest you get all my good graces. And that's going to cost you $2 million. Give me $2 million because everybody, all my followers know. Since I placed the curse on you, all this stuff started to unravel. Dude, to put two and two together, 
You know, you were scamming and scheming all this time, all along. Nobody bothered Wes Watson. Everybody was having you on their podcast, interviewing you, and then you spew your nonsense, and nobody bothered Wes Watson. He was making millions. Little old me came along, placed a curse, and look at you now. Crawling on the floor like a wet dog. All it's going to cost you is a measly $2 million. Of course, as time goes on, that amount increases. So I suggest you get a hold of me and send me $2 million to my crypto account. That's all I want. And then you get on my good graces and the curse loses its power. Because, listen, the curse only works and it's fueled by my hatred of people. My hatred of you is fueling every night, every day, every, every waking moment I'm thinking about you with hatred. And it's fueling the curse. So make me happy.